The war was upon us. Piper was due to join the RAF, but was plucked from the armed services by Sir Kenneth Clarke, who gained him the commission to produce a series of paintings of Windsor Castle. It was during this period he developed a rapid and highly personal notation for topography. There was this feeling that something English was being lost. Well, that was a feeling intensified by the beginning of the Second World War, where it, it might have been lost for reasons of cultural shifts. Now it was going to be bombed out of existence. So the drama in these uh, paintings, um, on the one hand, is clearly goes back to many of the Romantic artists who liked dramatic skies and souped up, as it were, dramatic skies as part of their art. And he intensified that in his own paintings. But there's this elegiac mood I mean, they really are elegies for an England about to be lost, partly. And it's easy, perhaps, to forget the feeling of loss or potential loss that they were exemplifying at that time. He showed the pictures to George VI, and he looked to them, and the, the king was supposed to have said, oh, you didn't have very good luck with the weather. <laughs> but that was because John liked putting in all these... I mean, even if it was a nice day, he'd put a... Sort of thunder clouds in the, in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>